Hello guys, Shubham here, back again in another new video. So again in this video, we are going to review new ROM which is based on Android 12.1. Till now how many ROMs we tested, this ROM has the highest Antutu benchmark score and also peak performance. So this is the Nusantara OS from Nusantara community itself. So without any further ado, let's get into this video. So now let's look into the system information. Navigating to system information you can see this is Nusantara OS or version 4.6. Tapping on this tile you will get all the information and easter egg of Android 12 too. Moving further you will get the security patch which is of 5th of June 2022 with silver core kernel. Also these tiles which they have given which looks pretty good nice. You can see the maintainer information, also the chipset information and all the other information you can ever get. So this is something good. So this interface looks kinda pretty good and nice. Now let's talk about the Nusantra customizations. So this ROM got some pretty good customization called as Nusantra Wings. Tapping on this, this interface you will get where you will get all the customization packed in one place. This cozy and comfortable interface gives you all the things packed in one place without any confusion. So moving in themes and dynamic system bar and all the other settings, you will also get the transparent theme mode where you can keep the transparency of your theme. Also in notification, you will get all the other type of options which you ever get in all the other ROMs such as ambient lightning and all the other stuff. In miscellaneous, you will get all the other miscellaneous information such as 3 finger swipe screenshot and also a gaming space. We will talk about gaming space later as we will move to the gaming performance. Moving further in lock screen item you will get all the lock screen customizations. Also in battery options and all the other stuff, clock options, icon manager and many more. Overall you will get all type of customization you can ever imagine. The interface is pretty much good and friendly, you will find everything at one place without any issues. So that is something good. It's not at all sloppy or choppy at all, it's super smooth and fine. Moving further tapping long on the home screen, you will get options of wallpaper where you can select the wallpaper of your choice from the community itself. They have got a wide variety of options to select from, so you can just select anyone which you like as per your preference. Moving further in widgets, you can see in clock widget you cannot see the which is basic Android 12L clock widget. Also moving further, this is the tiles which you get and all the options you can just simply drag and use as per your preference and as per your want. So that's all about the customization which is pretty much good in this OS and also satisfy all your needs. Now let's deep dive in the gaming performance of this ROM. So talking about the gaming performance, as I said, they have given you a dedicated game space where you will get all the options record recording the gameplay and all the other options which you can explicitly set for your gameplay while you play. You can just add any of the game flow from over here and also set the preferred mode. This angle is something experimental you can use. I have set the BGMI and now let's look how this gameplay is on this ROM. So moving further as you can see this is I am playing BGMI mobile and I haven't faced any type of issues. This is not the very first gameplay I am playing but before that I have tested this ROM play playing BJMI several times and I haven't faced any type of issue. On the extreme top right side you can see the frame rates is getting counted and you can see the frame rate doesn't drop much. It does lie between 50 to 60 and that's something good. Now moving further is the battery performance. So the battery performance of this ROM is pretty much good. If you play a one gameplay of BGMI, then you will drain about 10 to 12% of battery which is pretty much nice. But if you use this ROM on daily basis, then once you charge to 100%, then at the end of the day, it will remain you with about 20 to 30%. So in terms of battery and power too, this ROM is pretty much good and I got no complaints regarding it. It will satisfy your need for a day and also from the gaming perspective. Now let's see about the CTS bypass, that is safety net check. 
it's a good news that you will get CTS or safety net check bypass out of the box that is you can use all the payment and banking applications without any issues without flashing any magic or enabling or disabling it now let's click some picture that is gcam compatibility so out of the box you will get this stock camera which got some pretty good features but still it is not enough to satisfy our needs as everyone knows but not to worry as you will get the gcam mod that or gcam apk which you know how to install and yes you are good to go as gcam works pretty much fine and stable you will get a wide variety of options from this as everyone knows and even we have talked in our past videos some good options such as 4k recording and some 60 30 and 20 fps video recording is good and that works pretty much fine no choppy or sloppiness is found you can record your 4k videos and also click some good amount of pictures with all the options available so yeah rest assured you can use gcam comfortably in this rom now the most important aspect that is security so talking about security then you will get face unlock and fingerprint unlock in this rom the face unlock works pretty much fine and without any issues let me tell you you will get the IR face unlock out of the box of this rom and that works pretty much fine also the fingerprint sensors work pretty much good and stable and you will not face any type of issues in that also you will get an app lock where you can protect all of your personal applications which you want without any issues talking about the sound then you will also get me sound in answer or direct sound in answer where you can just select whichever sound type you want and what type of instrument or earphone you are using and as per that you will tweak your sound now let's jump to some numbers that is antutu scores so talking about the antutu score then let me tell you till now it's 34 3 lakh 41 thousand that is one of the greatest score i have ever faced in all the android 12 or 12.1 l roms Though we don't rely much on numbers but this number is pretty much impressive and also this is something good from perspective of the performance and all the other stuff. Now it's about the time for our conclusion. So let me tell you guys this ROM is pretty much good. If you want to compare it with Corvus OS then definitely you can compare and this is must a keep. You can use this ROM for gaming for daily use and all the other stuff and this rom won't hold back at any time you can use this rom for all your needs and without any issues and i must say that it is good to go i have used this rom for more than a week and i didn't find any type of lags or any sloppiness or choppiness so that's it for this video guys if you like this video you must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such content upcoming until then see you again in the next one and peace out